I'm Rob. And I'm Louie. And this is the No Limits 2 Virtual Reality Review by... Barefoot Gaming! Alright Louie, what kind of game is No Limits 2? It's a roller coaster game. Crazy! You'd never think based on the pictures and the gameplay video. But is it a game? No. Or is it a simulation? It is a simulation and they emphasize simulation here. So this is a program that some professionals use to design actual roller coasters in the real world because there are a million specs that you can adjust. If I was going to make a roller coaster, I'd do it on here too. And you can. That is an option. There is an editor inside. You can build up the entire park. Not necessarily, when I say the whole park, you can place trees. Uh, you can set where all the tracks go. There are other rides aside from roller coasters. There are a couple in there. And there is a ridiculous amount of downloadable free content yes. for this game. What else? Louie, what else is there to say about it? It's a roller coaster sim. And we've talked about roller coaster sims. Not Yeah, it's roller coaster sims. We've talked about them before. You pop in and you roller coaster. And there's different kinds of coasters. Ones where you're backwards, ones mm -hmm. where you're on your back, ones where you're on your stomach. Let's review this. Let's talk about pros. Let's talk about cons. See if this is something worthwhile. This thing goes for $44 Canadian. I believe it is $39.99 US, £39. Louis, give me some pros. Give me some cons. Some of my pros are this game can really make you kind of rock back and forth. I mean, if you're sitting, maybe not so much. I was standing up. We stand when we record our gameplay, which maybe doesn't make total sense in a roller coaster, since most of them are seated, but it works better for our background to kick our, our background out so you just see yes. more of the gameplay. And speaking of, before we talk more about this, this thing doesn't support motion controllers. That's right. So you need a gamepad, or you need a keyboard and a mouse. Uh, what we did is we just had one person on the keyboard set everything up, and the other person would go in. Sorry, Louis, pros, cons, go ahead. Pros are... This is really fun if you love roller coasters, and I like roller coasters, so I really like this game. It gave you a real good estimation of what it would be like to run through it. Some of the rides are really short, some are long. I mean, that's how rides are, that was pretty good. Cons are, some of these rides people have put in huge long lines where you have to run up and down and up and down okay. and up and down and up and down up and down up and down, up and down, up and down and up and down now here's the thing <laughs> this game was not designed for vr vr was added onto it afterwards so when people are designing parks sometimes they're like oh i want to see what the roller coaster looks like before i get to the roller coaster yes you know that's fine outside of vr it's not fun dragging yourself through long lines some of them are yes. really long and yes you can bind keys to your gamepad. We couldn't figure out exactly which one it was to hop right into the actual seat, yes. but it can be done. Otherwise, we were, you know, flying there, dropping a person in the seat, and then be like, open up your eyes. Yeah. It's which, safe to which, go. Which is why we were using the keyboard, mouse, and also the gamepad. So, yeah, there's that. Sorry, keep going, Lee. That was my con. That's it. You have one con. Good. So, do you recommend the game? I do. My turn. I'm going to say this game is definitely going after the realism aspect. This is designed to give you the experience of the physics. The problem is you are never going to feel like you would feel in a roller coaster. Right. You're not getting actual inertia. You're not getting real movement. Is it because the inertial dampeners were on? It's possible, but it's more likely the fact that you are not actually moving. Ah. And that is what gives you that feeling of speed and that, that drop in your stomach. Really the best that any VR, this or any other VR coaster game can do is make you unbalanced, right? And there yes. were a bunch of times in the ridiculous number of free roller coasters that you can download through like the Steam Workshop, there were some times that we found, you know, we could kind of feel a little off balance where you're like stumbling yep. a little forward, a little backwards. This game is pretty demanding. So you're gonna need like a, a fair amount of oomph so that you're not dropping frames in yes. this game. And as soon as you start dropping frames, you get motion sick, regardless of the movement. I feel the asking price is pretty high, but again, they're not just aiming for anybody. They're really trying to be the premium roller coaster experience. And because they have so many different kinds of rides you can try, 
I, I'd say it's probably not out to lunch price wise. I would probably recommend waiting for it to be on sale myself. Yeah. But the, the cons that Louis listed, the fact that, you know, so many designers don't start you off in the coaster, that is frustrating. I yeah. wish that wasn't there. The fact that the uh, menu isn't really designed for VR, that it's not really intuitive to move like when you want to exit a coaster right you load yeah. up a roller coaster you're sitting in there you finish the ride and it just stops I'm like okay well you press the select button on your controller yes and if you quit you quit the game but if you go to quit there's a little x in the top yes. right hand corner and you click that oh that'll just quit to the menu and then you can load up another one or else you just keep yes like it's it's not really vr intuitive not only that it's not really friendly for people who aren't great with windows it opens up a really flat looking windows frame with where you can select what you want to do because this was a windows not a vr game and you have to go and choose that same option like if you pick the help menu for example the help menu pops up i'm like okay so how do we get rid of it well you go back into into your select screen and then you click menu again and then it'll disappear otherwise yes. you can just have them stacked up all over the place so you could it's nice that it gives you lots of options it's bad that it's not intuitive it's good that it is a probably the best roller coaster experience in vr but i wish it was built for vr that's my yes. only complaint that and i feel the price is maybe a little high so i kind of recommend it that's yeah. where i'm sitting with this i would say it is a good vr roller coaster mm -hmm. game but you almost need somebody manning the controls like yeah. you really would in a roller coaster and that's the review don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed share our videos if you have a question ask below we will do our best to answer it for you Thank how do you. you subscribe it's a little subscribe button and there's a little bell thing if you click it weird you'll get a notification that a new video has come out that is it we are out of here for now we'll talk to you again real soon see ya